transparency and stock analyst and um, I also do training in technical and fundamental analysis of financial markets and uh, today we will talk about a topic which is related not just to some trading skills but which is uh, more general maybe but still very very important for your successful life as a trader. The name of the topic for today is life and trading, how to find a balance. And uh, if you are attending this webinar, I think that uh, it means that you might have some questions about how to uh, combine these things uh, together. I mean, trading and all other activities you have. So um, if you have uh, any questions during the webinar, don't hesitate to uh, write them in the chat and I'll gladly answer. And uh, if you want to share your experience, uh, please do as well, because I think that that is um, really interesting and we can discuss some general recommendations which will be um, good for everyone, but still, we know that everyone has a specific personality, specific experience, specific situation. So um, for everyone, the picture may be a bit different. So your experience uh, can be available for someone as well. So um, let's uh, start our talk with um, speaking about challenges a full-time trader may face. So if uh, you have no other job or occupation, if you decided to become a trader in the ultimate sort of way, so that your main uh, activity, which brings you income, is trading, uh, what will it mean for you? What uh, problems maybe um, you will face if you decided to choose this kind of approach. And actually, there are some challenges I'd like to discuss with you first of all. So uh, if you do trading as your main um, occupation, you will have uh, this kind of difficulties. The first one I listed here is independence. And on the one hand, this word sounds very positive to me because, well, um, independence, it means that you are your own boss, your own master, uh, you can do whatever you want. And, well, uh, isn't that uh, the kind of freedom everyone is, everyone wants to have? On the other hand, um, the word is great, but the reality may be a bit more uh, difficult because um, independence comes with a price. It means that you are on your own. You have to organize everything for yourself. You have to think of your plan of actions, um, your strategy. Uh, you have to organize your workplace, your time. So everything depends just on you. And uh, well, uh, this can be a very huge load. So um, sometimes people who decide to uh, forego their main job or part-time job and focus entirely on trading, they um, face difficulties because um, they found themselves in the situations they are not used to. They uh, wait for someone to tell them what to do. And uh, well, that doesn't happen if you are an independent full-time trader. Uh, only yourself to count on in this case. Responsibility is um, related to the um, independence, of course, because it means that only you are responsible for decisions you make. You may uh, read uh, some analysis um, in on some websites or see some trade signals and decide to follow them. But um, after all, um, it's your decision because uh, the person who has prepared and offered those signals, well, uh, is not in charge of your money, so um, is not responsible for your money after all. 
time management is a big issue. It's, um, I think, the problem for every modern person because we do have a lot of things to do, um, a lot of uh, projects, a lot of tasks uh, on the in our daily life, in our work. And for a trader, um, it is especially important because um, if you mm, kind of are free without the necessity to, I don't know, wake up early in the morning and then go to the office to do some um, stuff and then come back at specific time, you lose this uh, borders of time and you can spend too much time on, well, activities which are mm, not really productive. So time management is very important and um, it is necessary to control your activities and the time you spend on them if you are on your own as a full-time trader. I know this uh, really well, in fact, because um, currently, uh, this is well what I do, so I do not have this um, like um, times I need to do something. I have to set the times myself, and then I try to be uh, more flexible. I think that I can just uh, I don't know watch a movie in the middle of the day or read a book, and then maybe I will do something, have a look at the markets. That uh, doesn't turn out to be really good. So I try to mm, keep the timeline in my head all the time. I need to understand what I have to do today, uh, what will I trade, uh, for how long. And if I see that uh, this time is passing and um, I didn't mm, do enough in the time, I try to speed up or um, somehow stay in the schedule because it is just uh, better as a day-to-day -day strategy. This is the only opportunity, I think, to uh, be able to do everything you want to do. Next uh, thing is uh, that if you are a full-time trader, your revenue depends only on yourself. This is um, also clear um, that you do not have a kind of uh, amount of money, the fixed sum, which is uh, paid to you by the end of the month by your employer. Um, your income may vary from month to month. And, um, well, um, you are the manager of this income. So uh, in this case, uh, being a trader, I just can't help mentioning that risk and money management is a very important element of trading and um, is kind of strongly related to uh, this income question. But, uh, well, you need to just realize that, that um, your income depends on yourself only in this case. Social contacts, of course, um, become limited if you focus on trading, uh, if you analyze the market, just work your strategies. You don't have that great need of communication you would uh, have if you worked, um, just to, had some day job. Uh, however, you can always uh, change that by socializing with other traders. And uh, nowadays that is not a complicated question. You can do that by attending webinars, um, communicating in chat, or there are plenty of websites, social networks, which are related to trading. And it is um, really good to have kind of a small company of traders with um, who you have common um, mindset. In this case, you feel that you are really socializing and you are a part of uh, some group that is uh, helpful in such lonely activity as trading financial markets. And uh, after all, um, communication is a good way to um, increase your knowledge, to find out something interesting because 
it is um, not easy to monitor many markets, many things at the same time, um, and to keep on learning something new at the same time. A problem may um, arise if you are a full-time trader that uh, this kind of job uh, doesn't allow you to make an impact on others. Um, so you kind of trade for yourself uh, in order to um, accumulate some income, but you don't, um, let's say, create some product or service to someone and um, although uh, that may sound a bit strange uh, such activities are really important for self uh, fulfillment of a person and in my opinion the way out here is just to uh, add activities of this kind maybe as a hobby that is always uh, possible so um, not your main job but you know, something in your free time, why not? And finally, um, traders are exposed to the so-called effect of one successful trade, uh, then they get carried away and uh, probably start to make some bad decisions uh, without a cool head after that. Or on the other hand, the effect of one bad trade, then they lose confidence and um, that uh, starts affecting their further trades. Uh, we know that such things um, usually don't ha happen if you, I, I don't know, are a marketing specialist, you do some tasks, uh, you are not exposed to things like that, then you can become a big winner or a big loser um, in several hours or even minutes. In trading, that is possible, and once again, here we return to risk management because um, it's hard to find the better answer to problems like that, um, which are related to different um, money questions. Management and control of risks is important here. So. Next thing uh, is um, that it is not necessarily a necessity to become a full-time trader, um, especially to just dive into this situation, quit your main job immediately and throw everything at trading, especially if you do not have enough trading experience for that. You can combine trading with other stuff. And the stuff may be actually quite different, uh, it may be a um, job, so uh, kind of uh, professional activity you already have and you like. So uh, in your free time, you can do trading. You can be a business owner um, that uh, really is not important which kind of business, but um, your business will generate some income, hopefully and um, in some spare time you do trading. I think that there is difference between having a business and um, working as an employee somewhere. So two cases, then um, you kind of have two sources of income and uh, this way you diversify um, your activity and diversify your risk so that um, the probability of your success is greater. In the meantime, you can continue gaining experience as a trader and um, maybe uh, switch to um, trading, full-time trading in the future or just assign a greater deal of your time to trading that can be flexible. A trading related job is um, also an option if you are really passionate about uh, the markets and uh, you would like to focus on the markets just more of the time probably not all the time doing trading but do something related for example write financial articles um, become a trainer and do the educational stuff uh, that is uh, also really pleasant and interesting idea uh, that allows you to uh, 
become a professional. And uh, by the way, uh, these jobs related to trading, of course, add to your experience because you are able to uh, get more knowledge about various markets and um, trading techniques and market analysis in general. So why not? Um, it is a good solution. And um, another combination is some kind of um, passion project that is more like a hobby, but maybe a significant uh, hobby that um, requires a great deal of your time. Maybe it uh, also represents some source of income. Um, but um, if you do not feel um, ready to trade uh, the whole day, uh, the hobby, the passion project is a good solution for you to um, be psychologically stable, um, content, and um, have a lot of energy. I think that, well, a passion pro project speaks for itself. So it should be clear. And um, here I'd like to point out that um, you can see that um, trading, if you are doing a part-time trading, um, you do not spend all your time on that. You have limited time. And uh, that kind of um, makes it necessary to think about your trading style and strategy. We had a webinar about trading styles last week and at the webinar I explained that um, if you have limited amounts of time you will probably be a swing trader or position trader so traders who uh, make several trades a week or maybe uh, even fewer trades but that last long their positions are kept open for a long periods of time. In this case, um, if um, that trading style suits you, uh, you can actually uh, do uh, part-time trading very well. If um, you have um, trading strategies which, in which you have to make more trades every day, like intraday trading or scalping, and uh, you need to uh, be exposed to this movement of the market, the rapid uh, fluctuations of the price, the stress. In this case, of course, part-time trading will be more difficult for you. So um, you can, I think, watch the recording of that webinar at TradingMo YouTube channel and uh, try to uh, find your trading style because everything here is very connected. Trading style strategies you use um, depend on the amount of time you have available for trading and consequently on whether you are a full-time trader or a part-time trader. Because here, um, when we are do trading part-time and we have a combination of several activities, of course, we can understand that these uh, things which bring us money are not everything and somewhere in our schedule we have to squeeze in sports relaxation, um, I don't know, some entertainment, because you can't just dig yourself entirely into um, money making, you have to relax, otherwise um, you will soon become too stressed and too tired of everything. That is not a good long-term strategy, so um, this limited nature of time is a kind of initial parameter we have to consider when we think about um, trading and um, how to put everything together and have a balanced um, life and a happy life as well. Um, also, if we speak about uh, finding a balance between trading and everything else, um, you should try to constantly develop um, qualities which will help you succeed in trading and try to do this on the daily basis. Um, I know that that may sound kind of simple, but um, actually it's quite uh, difficult to remember about this um, psychological things 
on the daily basis. So probably it is mm, the best solution to just write these things down and, um, I don't know, put them on your fridge and see them every day, get reminded about them and just bring them to life. So what are these helpful qualities? Self-awareness self means that um, you should like be in the moment every time um, of your life. Mm, that is the ideal situation, of course, but still. So that you should um, remember who you are, what you are doing, what are your goals uh, in life, in trading, um, so that you understand that every moment passes, this is the life uh, you are acting, doing something, you are actually um, a performer here. A positive mindset is um, a critical thing because, well, you can guess that if you are focused on negative things, um, better not to start any kind of activity because, well, of it in this case expecting from the future uh, and be sure that with enough effort enough practice and enough learning you will be able to achieve your goals because that is a perfectly realistic scenario patience of course patience is needed uh, because the market um, doesn't always um, go in the direction we want just uh, as fast enough as we want. So patience is um, a virtue you need to acquire. Self-discipline uh, related, of course, to how you spend your time. Um, it is a good thing to uh, write up the tasks you need to perform in trading in your life and try to just tick them as you fulfill them. And of course, uh, discipline is related to things like risk and money management, where you have to abide by the rules of your trading system and uh, not to um, make your uh, trading more random than it is already. Resistance to stress. Um, it is a key quality and, uh, well, uh, the question is how to develop this thing. In my opinion, it uh, just should be developed um, naturally when you take part in uh, some um, trades which are stressful. I don't know, maybe you trade the use or uh, just maybe regular trades which are not easy for you to manage psychologically. Um, in this case, you just need to become aware that you are feeling stress. Try to breathe calmly, to analyze the situation and um, to regard this thing as your opportunity to get this great experience from trading and improve your trading skills and not like a, a torture you are facing. That will, I think, develop this quality in you. Accuracy is, um, I think, clear. Um, we need to be accurate uh, and not to have um, a great mess at our workplace in the first um, place and uh, in everything else as well. Not to make some stupid mistakes, to fe feel comfortable in your environment and so on, because that affects your performance greatly. Next uh, thing is um, adaptability. Uh, that is a quality um, every trader must have because of this changeable nature of financial markets. Well, um, it is so, it is not going to change um, things which um, have certain relations in finance, they tend to um, evolve during time or even change uh, suddenly. So adaptability is 
a very important habit and a very important quality. So these work qualities, I think they are simple enough. And some habits which will also make your life easier, but here you of course need to put some effort in acquiring this habit because um, this habit won't just appear in your life uh, if you hear it and if you read it. It is said that um, you will get a habit um, doing something if you do it for 20 times um, and then um, it will be a habit like, uh, I don't know, you will um, um, do morning exercise 20 days in a row and it will become a habit. Uh, you just won't uh, have the desire to stop anymore and you will keep doing it. Uh, same thing with um, habits which may help you with uh, trading. Set goals uh, because uh, if you do not have a kind of um, goal to, towards which you want to go in trading and in life, well, um, it means that you will wander around on the way and um, you won't get uh, the result you would have gotten if you um, set a specific goal which is always in front of you. Next, um, you need to control the time you spend on trading so that you don't uh, just, um, I don't know, sit on your chair in the morning on Monday and um, get off it on Friday evening. I'm of course ex exaggerating, but um, even on the daily basis, I do not recommend to sit uh, for many hours and trade without any stop. You just need to uh, work out the schedule which works for you and uh, try to um, limit your trading activity even if you are a full-time trader in order not to uh, hate, um, start hating the market and everything about it in several weeks. That is a really, really important, especially if you, uh, if you yourself define your schedule. Think uh, very, very thoroughly about this. Keep learning. Um, well, it had to be included here because um, everyone, every successful person keeps um, learning all the time. And um, if you are a full-time trainer, think about maybe what will be your learning practices. So maybe you will attend a webinar once a week. Maybe you have you will have um, specific hours during which you will um, read some articles or books about trading. It can be very, very different. Um, there may be a combination, but um, it is better to assign specific time to that and make sure that these activities are regular and um, you will be surprised how more confident you will feel if you do really uh, continue to uh, follow this schedule, which includes uh, time for learning. Socializing we have already discussed, I think. Uh, changing your environment is um, really a great idea so that uh, sometimes you can travel somewhere with your notebook and do your things, uh, trading things there. Or if you spend your uh, day at home, just go to different places or just turn off your computer and uh, have a walk uh, while thinking maybe about some trade or about something else. But it is a key question that during the day you should uh, change your environment and not stay at the same place all the time. So, um, in my opinion, it is uh, actually very important to do some new things, um, to change your routines, things you are get too used to, in order for your life to be more various uh, and interesting. And everything which uh, brings you this um, element of pleasant newness to your life is um, helping you to find this kind of balance. Finally, use weekends as a great uh, resource because we often 
are not trading on weekends uh, due to the nature of financial markets. So it is a good time to catch up on sleep, to spend time with your family and loved ones, to plan something, what you will do in the week ahead, um, and to do some other activities, to think maybe about um, your life goals, to evaluate your performance. This actually uh, represents a very uh, great opportunity to get everything sorted out in your head. Finally, I'd like to um, recommend you doing a thing uh, like this, uh, which is called Life Circle. You can find a lot of examples of this stuff in the internet, and um, it may be actually very, very different. The idea is uh, to create a um, kind of uh, um, lines, uh, which are coming from the central circle. And at these lines, you can um, assign um, different uh, things you value in your life and you consider important. For example, um, making money, spending time with uh, your family and friends, um, doing some entertainment, doing some education, and so on. Then uh, you can uh, just write the numbers from 1 to 10 at each scale and uh, mark, um, mark the number which you think uh, reflects how much time you spend on this or that important activity in your life. So um, 1 is you don't do it at all, 10 is the maximum important f importance in your life. And um, you will see how um, things are, which balance you have in different areas. Then you will understand where you need to uh, increase your efforts, spend more time. And, um, well, uh, with the course of time, you can compare these diagrams and uh, see whether anything has changed. Actually, this is a good thing, and uh, I find that uh, the stuff uh, when um, your activities are represented in a visual way is the most helpful to analyze um, the things in your life and uh, how much space and time uh, they occupy for you. So this is the thing you can do easily and um, just uh, it will help you to bring your life and trading in order. So, um, guys, these were my main recommendations on the topic, and I hope that um, you managed to find a system here to find some recommendations you will use, I don't know, from this very minute, uh, so that you understand how you um, are going to approach that question of organizing your life and trading in it. Um, the recording of the webinar will appear at uh, Tremo's YouTube channel and um, on Wednesday we will have the next webinar related to technical analysis that time trend trading versus count trend trading. So be uh, welcome there. Um, and what else? Um, I need to remind you that Tremo has that premium um, opportunities for users with a lot of courses, they have trading signals and uh, personalized learning support. So um, consider that option and you can find out more at learn.tradimo.com slash premium. So that is um, what I want to remind you because we are here always eager to help you and uh, to make sure that your trading results are improving. So if you don't uh, have any questions to me today, I'm going to um, retire to other uh, tasks I have. And um, thank you for attending the webinar. I hope that um, you will be able to find a balance in your life. And to wish you all the best, uh, all the best results in your trading. 
So thanks uh, everyone and see you next time at Trading Moment.